Hey there, if you've noticed that the FaceTime icon is grayed out for a contact on your iPhone, it can really put a damper on making those video or audio calls. This issue typically pops up due to things like incorrect contact settings, compatibility troubles with FaceTime, or even network hiccups. But don't sweat it. This guide is here to help you troubleshoot and get FaceTime back in action for your contacts. Let's dive right in. Solution 1. Refresh FaceTime in Settings First, open the Settings app. Next, scroll down until you find FaceTime. Tap on FaceTime. Toggle FaceTime off. Wait about 10 seconds and then toggle it back on. Now check to see if the FaceTime icon is active for your contact. Solution 2. Delete and re-add the contact with updated information. Open the Contacts app. Find and select the contact that's giving you trouble with FaceTime. Tap Edit in the top right corner, then scroll down and choose Delete Contact. Once you've deleted the contact, re-add them using the correct phone number or email address. Make sure to enter a valid phone number or email that's actually been activated with FaceTime. Solution 3. Reset all settings. If the previous step didn't do the trick, resetting all settings could help fix any configuration issues that are affecting FaceTime. Open Settings. Tap on General. Scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset, then choose Reset All Settings. Don't worry, this won't delete your data, but it will reset Wi-Fi passwords and some other settings. Once that's done, give FaceTime another try to see if the icon is now active for your contact. Note, if the contact you're trying to reach is using an Android device, keep in mind that FaceTime won't be available since it only works with Apple devices. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the issue of the FaceTime icon being grayed out for your contact on an iPhone. If this guide helps you out, be sure to keep it handy for future reference.